This tutorial looks at how to convert MATLAB code into C++ code. You may have written a prototype or a test or some kind of app in MATLAB and you want its final deploy version to be in C++. You may be developing some functionality for a different software and instead of rewriting all of the code that you've made in MATLAB you want to be able to quickly and conveniently convert what you've already done into C++. And there's a few problems with doing this. Um, the first issue is that the convenience of the MATLAB language uh, is not translated perfectly into C++, so there are quite a few considerations that you have to make beforehand. Uh, but the very first consideration you have to make is whether or not your version of MATLAB is associated with a compiler, because natively MATLAB cannot compile your code into readable C++. So before you even prepare your code for conversion, you first have to check that you have the compiler. And to do this, you type mex space dash setup. It will then ask if you'd like to locate installed compilers and you press Y. And if you have an installed compiler, it will come up on this list and you just select the compiler you want. If your copy of MATLAB doesn't have a compiler associated with it, then it will give you a hyperlink which you can click and it will take you to a web page with a list of supported compilers and I believe there's a download link there as well. The project I want to convert is a graphical user interface which performs a stress life calculation on a series of input stresses. Now I don't actually want to convert the code which produces the GUI, I only want the code which performs the analysis. So my main file, findlygui.m, this is driving the graphical user interface and it's also making all of my function calls depending on which buttons I press on the GUI. But I only want the maths. I've separated all of my files into a separate directory which is essentially a recipe from 0 to 10 from the beginning of the analysis to the end of the analysis. And I want to convert each of these steps into C++. We're going to look at an example now where I want to convert my file findcp into C++. The first thing I'll do is type the following directive next to the function definition. And this says to MATLAB, hey, we intend to convert this into C++, what's your opinion? And MATLAB will tell us if there's anything wrong with our code, it will help us to troubleshoot in the event that it can't convert our code properly. Um, so it's useful to put it there. Um, and all we do is go to the command window, type coder. We then give this a name. So we'll give it the same name as the function name. And just for convenience, I'm going to put it on the desktop. So we now have the coder pane and the first step is to add the files which we want to convert into C++. So we're going to add the file findcp.m. Now you'll see here it's wanting us to define the type of input into findcp. Now when you make a function in MATLAB, MATLAB doesn't actually mind what type of, uh, of variable these are. Uh, you could pass a an integer for this variable here, or you could pass an array for this variable here. But in C++, you have to specify the type of variable. So in order to convert this function into C++, we also have to specify the type of variable. So in my case, I'm going to define this type as a array, and I have a couple of options here. I can, I know that I want the first dimension of my array to be one, uh, but for my second dimension, I really don't know how big this variable is going to be because the end user is a customer and they could load in a signal of any length. So I have a couple of options. I could either say, well, I'm going to set an upper bound of 2048 and the chances are this bound won't be exceeded. But if the bound does get exceeded, then we're going to run into some problems. So what I will do is I'm going to type colon inf. And this says to MATLAB, there's no upper bound on this array. Uh, you can populate it with as much data as you wish. 
and I'm going to give it type single because the software that I'm developing this for uh, is going to be calculating a stress life and we're not really um, there's no, not much use for using doubles uh, in this case because we don't go into decimal places when we calculate stress life so I'll use single one by inf and I'm going to do the same for the rest of these components as well once we've specified the type of our input variables we can go over to the build tab we'll select C++ static library and in the more settings window we'll verify that our language is C++ and we will select dynamic memory allocation for all variable sized arrays in MATLAB you can create an array and you can change its size uh, later on in the code in C++ you have to specify the size of your array at the point uh, that it's declared so in order to solve this problem MATLAB will dynamically allocate memory to your variable sized arrays in runtime so it's important to have this option selected if you have variable sized arrays and we'll check the box generate code only because for this tutorial we only want the code and we can click build and MATLAB will start the process of translating our code. We can check our source code in the code gen folder and this is the code that MATLAB has given us. As you can see there's quite a lot of different files here. Uh, the function that we uh, converted is findcp.cpp and its corresponding header file. The reason we have lots of other functions is because things like uh, max, linspace, uh, the find function, these are all implicit functions in MATLAB which don't exist in C++. So in order for us to use them in C++, MATLAB has to write the C code for us so that we can actually utilize those functions. So let's have a look at our function findcp. So we're now in Visual Studio and we're looking at our MATLAB function which is now in C++. So the variables which we declared as being single one by inf, they've been assigned the type emx array. And the emx array is just a structure containing various fields uh, and each field has some kind of information about this variable including the data itself and the emx array will be passed into uh, different MATLAB functions inside the C++ environment which will automatically handle the memory allocation. As you can see uh, a function which started out quite small in MATLAB is actually fairly large in C++. There will be times when your MATLAB code doesn't build the first time around and this is quite a common problem uh, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your code, uh, it just means that there are aspects of your code which aren't suitable for C++ generation. This block of code is an interesting example. I know that this, uh, this boolean here is always going to be defined. One of these three paths will always be satisfied, and I know that, so I know that these two variables will always be given a value. And this code will run fine in MATLAB, but this code will not run okay in a C++ environment because there is still an execution path whereby these two variables are not defined. If none of these three conditions are satisfied, then these variables will not be defined. Even though I know that these three conditions should always be satisfied, I have to be explicit and I have to make sure that in every execution path, the value of this variable and this variable are definitely defined. So what I'll do, I'll add an else and I'll copy this code over and I'll default the value of these variables to zero.